What's up guys, welcome to my official guide to the pheromone outbreak or as we know it as the data wipe for lost light. In this video, I'll discuss everything you need to know about this event, how you should prepare for it and what to expect after. I do these kinds of videos weekly and I also live stream this game every Wednesday and Friday. So if you want to keep up with everything lost light, consider subscribing to the channel today. A data wipe is a complete reset of your progression. This means all of your shelter upgrades, account levels, your money, task progress, achievements, passive skills, your mailbox, your archive, black market listings, and targeted serums will be lost once the wipe begins, or as the game coins it as the pheromone outbreak. This also defines how long the current season will run. Without delays or extensions, the usual duration of the season is 90 to 100 days. This process is necessary for the game in order to make way for new and major updates. Resetting the player and economy progression is a factor in helping out to test out new features they add to the game. These updates can vary from adding a new map task changes, new weapons or equipment, new animations like weapon inspections, black market improvements, and new game modes or specific game features. Since Lost Light is still ongoing with its development, a data wipe is necessary to properly apply and test out these kinds of changes. Now I know you would say, the game has already been out for 3 years. Even though that is the case, we can all agree that the game is nowhere close to being perfect and still requires a lot of work and that's where the data wipe comes in. So to make it simple, the data wipe is needed to make the game better. Any paid content that you have purchased with real money are not affected by this. This means weapon skins, operator skins, pet levels, pet storage capacity, and alpha or beta subscriptions. So regardless of the data wipe, if you have spent real money on something in the game, you will not lose it. Other things unaffected by the wipe are bounty coins, your friends list, your avatars, frames, and profile backgrounds. The answer is yes and also no. Lost Light shines in its effort to be unique, innovative, and different from other extraction shooters. They tend to keep themselves distant in comparison to other extraction shooters we know today, and with that kind of mindset, they came up with a two-way option in approaching the data wipe. The first option is to face the data wipe head-on and embrace a full reset of your account, but the second option is what makes the game unique as you are given the option to avoid most of what the data wipe will reset as long as you can meet specific requirements that you can work for and achieve in game. Fitting it into lore or the story of the game where the pheromone virus destroys all life and things, like any other post-apocalyptic setting, a cure or a remedy is created to counter the virus. In this game, we are introduced to the Hela antibodies and the targeted serums. These are the two requirements needed to avoid a data wipe. The Hela antibodies are these anti-pheromone fluid containers you can get from defeating marauders or looting them from different item boxes or containers in the game. The way to complete the first requirement is to collect these antibody containers and submit them in-game. This will then contribute to a server-wide target goal of antibodies that are needed to be collected. So this part of the requirement requires the effort of your entire server region to complete this. Whereas the targeted serums are more different, it is required to collect at least three of these serums to complete the second requirement. What makes this challenging is the fact that this item is one of the rarest items in the game given how much it is needed in avoiding a data wipe. Given how valuable this item is, achieving these serums is no easy task. And here are the ways you can get them. First is to purchase a serum from Heidi's store. This is the game's in-game shop where you can buy items that you have unlocked from your archive records and a single serum can be found under the consumable tab with a price of 20 million new pounds. Take note that you can only get one serum from this source. The second source is the black market. This is where other players who have likely found a fourth or even a fifth serum during their gameplay. Since you lose these serums during the outbreak, it's better to sell them to another player who needs it. The prices of the serums posted here vary from as cheap as 1 million to its original price of 20 million new pounds. So be sure to check the black market postings all the time. The third source, which should be the easiest option, is by participating in targeted serum surprise events. This is where you can complete tasks and receive coins that you can then exchange for various items such as spray cans, thermal bags, weapons, and even a targeted serum. These events happen from time to time during the season, so make sure to check the events section to see if this kind of an event is taking place. Now those are the three options a player has to get the serums with some effort and in-game currency. I have two other options to consider but these requires a player to spend real money which I highly discourage. 
The fourth option is buying the targeted serum from Hidden Smuggling under the Firefly Exclusive section, where you are required to use your real money to top up for LP. You can buy the serum for 400 LP, which is equivalent to 7 to 8 USD, and you can buy up to 3 serums from this source per season. And the fifth and final option to get a serum is to level up your Battle Pass, or as the game calls it, the Companion Plus to level 10. Yes, it may sound easy, but the Companion you have must be an Advanced Companion Plus, which means you need to pay 600 LP to change your companion plus into an advanced companion plus once you have upgraded your companion just simply reach level 10 and you can then claim the reward lined up for it which is a free targeted serum now there has been a rumor that targeted serums can also spawn from the exclusion zone now i've yet to experience this myself but i've seen from discord screenshots and discussions of players claiming that there's a very low chance that a targeted serum may drop from marauder boxes or locked boxes in high value areas. But basing from this Discord post from the developers, that basically debunks this theory, as they list only 5 options of getting these serums as I've mentioned earlier. If you do see anyone claiming that they have found a serum from the exclusion zone, that may only be possible if another player gave them one personally. The best tip is don't feel bad. Since this is part of the game, this is intended to make it better. You benefit from this most of all. Be confident in the next season as you now have the knowledge and experience of what data wipes are and you should be able to approach the next one better. In the meantime, not all of your items will be lost. Days before the outbreak begins, the game will introduce the shelter box. This allows you to store 4 items of your choosing plus 2 more if you have a premium account and these items in the shelter box will not be removed after the data wipe. Take note that you cannot store containers, bags, or money in the shelter box. You can only place weapons, equipment, keys, and material items on the slots you have available. In my previous experience in facing a wipe, I stored 3 crypto coins and 1 fully kitted weapon, which helped me easily start off with a decent amount of cash and a strong weapon to easily grind for early levels, but again, it's all up to you on what you think is best to store in the shelter box. And that's about it. That's all you need to know about data wipes in Lost Light. If you have thoughts, feedback, or questions about the data wipe or Lost Light in general, feel free to let me know in the comments below. You can also ask me questions whenever I live stream on Wednesday and Fridays on this channel. If you found this video helpful, kindly give it a like, share this with your fellow fireflies, and if you want more Lost Light content, consider subscribing today. Thanks so much for your time and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.